y'all welcome back to my channel today is monday november 13th and today is gonna be quite the crazy day i'm actually leaving the house going into houston and i figured i should grab the vlog camera and make a video today and bring y'all along with me and we're gonna spend the day together the last few days have been a little wild and crazy and i will catch you up throughout the vlog but uh first and foremost um i rescued a cat Tell you more about that later um i hatched a baby chick i don't know if you can hear the loud peeping in the background but i only hatched one we're gonna go pick it up some friends today and it's just gonna be a crazy day i just got ready for the day let's get started let's hang out it's gonna be good let's go i get a lot of questions about what i use to write my to-do lists on i have an ipad air with the apple pencil and I use the app Good Notes. I believe I use the free version and I just get a piece of notebook paper and let's write us a to-do list this morning. First thing on the agenda this morning is let's whip up everyone's food because they are over here very impatiently waiting for their breakfast. So let me give y'all a quick rundown of how I have acquired my fifth cat. So the other day when I walked outside to do my chicken chores, I saw a little flash run off my back porch and it turned out to be a little starving kitten. I found it under my chicken coop. I put a trap out expecting to maybe catch it and not five minutes later, it was in the trap. Right now, I've been working on getting it to trust me and we're making very slow progress but we are working on it. I figure since it is a little bit of an older cat, it's gonna take a little bit longer to tame it down. I'll be honest, I really don't have a plan for this kitty yet. I do know I'm trying to get it healthy because it was so skinny. I am making sure it's got plenty of food and working on taming it. Probably gonna get it to a low cost vet in the next few days if I can get an appointment, get shots and make sure everything is okay. And that's about as far as I know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or tame it down and rehome it. We're going day by day right now. I feel so bad, it's terrified, but little does it know it's lucked into a much greater life than starving under my chicken coop. I just gave it some food and we'll pull it out and cuddle it a little later, but I've got a lot of things to get done this morning. But yeah, that's a little bit about the new kitty. The other day, I was scrolling through Etsy, and I found the cutest sweater, and I had to buy it. You ready? Just a girl who loves chickens. Oh my god, I love it. I don't know. I saw this, and I was like, I have to buy it. And I feel like it suits me. It's a good little sweater I can wear while I'm tending to the chickens this winter. Also, from the same Etsy shop, I ended up getting... A little Christmas baking crew t-shirt. I thought it was super cute. But yeah, I just had to show y'all my sweater and I'm about to head out the door and go get my groceries. It's rainy today, so all the carport kitties are seeking shelter under the carport. And I just walked outside to this little guy making himself right at home in this box. Hey buddy, you're so sweet. He's really making a strong case to be an inside-outside cat. He really wants to come inside. He's so sweet. Look at that sweet baby. Oh my, oh, you're hamming it up for the camera. Oh my golly. Just pulled up at H-E-B to get my pickup order. I got the goods. In case you're wondering, here is what I got from the grocery store. I'm gonna be making vegetable soup for dinner tonight. So a lot of this is for that recipe. 
In one of my last videos, I talked about how I unfortunately lost one of my little itty bitty chickens. And because of that, I loaded my incubator full of eggs and hoped to hatch some out. Well, out of those 32 eggs I put in there, one lone baby hatched. You can hear it screaming behind me. And you cannot raise a baby chick alone. Well, you can, but they don't do very well without friends. I somehow managed to find four week old chicks of the same breed, which is pretty rare here in the US. And I'm so excited. We have about a 45 minute drive to pick them up later today. But this poor baby, it is so lonely. Let me show you what I've been doing to try and keep it company until we can get it friends. So I've been calling it my iPad kid because I found a video on YouTube of just baby chicks doing their thing for like a couple of hours. So I turn it on this old phone of mine and I put it here and it's like, oh, my friends, my friends are here. Is that not the saddest thing? This poor little baby is so lonely, but it sits here and talks to the screen and watches them. And I think it gives it a little company, but in a couple of hours, it will have real life actual friends and not iPad friends. I just went ahead and got the baby chick brooder set up where I will have a place to put them when I get home with them. I have their heat plate over here warming up. I've got water and I put marbles in the water because they're so tiny they can drown. And then they got some food. So they're set up for success. All we need is the babies. Time is getting away from me today. It is already 11.52. I told Cody I would bring him lunch because Cody actually works in the Houston Heights. So that's like a 35 minute drive. And I'm actually gonna be going right past where he works on my way to pick up the chicks. And so since he's working alone this morning and can't leave, I was like, well, this works out perfectly. I can bring you lunch. And I was gonna make a cucumber sandwich for myself for lunch, but I am starting to run out of time. So I think I'm just gonna order a sandwich as well from Jersey Mike's. And we're gonna pick that up and then head into Houston. So I am about to start me a new order Place that, and then we're gonna head out the door. You boys be good. I'll be back in just a little while, okay? Y'all be good. I got the goods. Now I'm gonna head into Houston and meet up with Cody, and I'm just gonna eat my sandwich when I get there. Just made it here into Houston to meet up with Cody. I got us some lunch and we're gonna head inside and go eat. Look who I found. <laughs> Time to eat us some lunch. We both ordered the number nine Mike's Way with no tomatoes and it is outstanding. 10 out of 10 must try it. It was kind of nice to see Cody midday. I got to bring him lunch. And I had to waste a little bit of time because the lady I'm picking up the chicks from, she had to go pick up her kid from school. So of course I went into Home Goods and ended up spending $70 that I didn't need to spend. I will show you what I got when we get home, but now we gotta go pick up some baby chickens. I'm so excited. The little babies have been acquired. I got four of them. Oh my God, they're so cute and tiny. The lady I got them from, she has a little stuffed animal in here with them. She's got some hand warmers, so they should be good for the hour drive home. Let's get y'all home to your new friend, babies. As I was pulling out to the interstate, I realized that there was a McDonald's right here on the interstate, and I have not had any caffeine today. There was a really cute coffee shop I wanted to visit while I was over here, but I just couldn't find a great way to get there in all this traffic. So instead, I'm stopping by Mickey D's and I got me a $1.79 coffee. As much as I wanted the iced coffee, I just don't want to drink 200 calories worth of carbs. So I opted for the hot coffee. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to spice it up a little bit. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I got my medium coffee from McDonald's and while I was at Home Goods, I picked up some gingerbread syrup that is zero sugar. So we're gonna pop this bad boy open since it's in here and we're gonna flavor our coffee 
with some gingerbread syrup. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's do a little splash of this. I got a little stir, and we're just gonna stir this together. We'll have us a gingerbread coffee to sip on in the lots of traffic and rain we're gonna encounter on the way home. Oh my God, yum. That is so good. Maybe I just need to start carrying around one of these in my car. All right, now it's time for me to get caffeinated and get these babies home. Slowly and steadily making our way home. There is lots and lots of traffic. I got the new babies moved in and it's time to give this little one some friends. You finally get to meet some non-virtual friends, little one. Look. Oh, it's so tiny compared to the others. It's like, what is going on? I got everyone moved in and the older chicks are teaching the little baby how to eat. And I'm so excited. It finally has non-iPad friends. <laughs> I gave them some mash, which is basically wet food, just to introduce that little baby to food for the first time. And it looks like they're loving it. It is 4.49, just got home after being out for like four and a half hours, got the baby settled. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner. I'm making a vegetable beef soup with jalapeno cheddar cornbread muffins. Cause that just sounded, absolutely tasty. It has been wet and rainy and cold outside. So I figured like a soup was like the perfect like warm you up meal on these nasty, nasty days outside. So let me get out all of my ingredients and we're gonna get started on dinner. For the vegetable soup, I have me a big pot. I have a pound of ground beef, some chopped sweet onion and some minced garlic. I'm about to add that all into here and brown up the ground beef and drain off any of the excess grease. Just cooking up my ground beef. Now that the ground beef is cooked, we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. Instead of peeling and chopping potatoes, I'm just gonna use some hash browns. Two cans of beef broth, a can of tomato soup, a can of petite diced tomatoes, undrained, 16 ounces of frozen mixed vegetables, a couple dashes washer sister sauce, now some seasoned salt, pepper, and parsley. I'm gonna stir everything together, bring this up to a boil, cover it, and then reduce it to a simmer and let it simmer for like 30 minutes. Here is what the soup is looking like so far. Now we're bringing it to a boil. We're coming to a boil, so I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer for 25 to 30 minutes. While this is doing its thing, we're gonna whip up our jalapeno cheddar cornbread muffins. Add two boxes of Jiffy corn muffin mix into a bowl, one cup of buttermilk, a cup of sharp cheddar cheese, two eggs, and some diced jalapeno. Now mix it all together. Spray a muffin tin and divide it equally. Now I'm gonna bake these cornbread muffins at 400 degrees for about 17, 18 minutes until they're golden brown. The cornbread muffins are done when they're golden brown on top and these look fantastic. The soup has been simmering for about 30 minutes and it is ready. Time to serve us up a bowl. This looks fantastic. Just made myself a bowl of the vegetable beef soup. I got me a little cornbread muffin and it's time to dig in. I am so hungry. I am shaking. I'll let y'all know how it is when I'm done. We ate dinner and y'all, I gotta say that soup and that cornbread, absolutely outstanding. 10 out of 10, you've gotta try it. It was so easy. Everything was done in under an hour. And it was so flavorful, so good. Anyways, we ate dinner and now I am out here in the backyard. I'm gonna lock up all the chickens and be done with my outside chores for the night. <laughs> These two are over here on the couch pretending like they like each other. 
That's so sweet that Bo and Smokey are cuddled together. Then we got Cooper right there. <laughs> Comfy as ever. But that is just the cutest thing. Oh my golly. Hey y'all, it is now two days later. It is Wednesday the 15th. And I wanted to pick up the vlog camera today and continue on with this vlog because we're gonna take the kitten to the vet today. It is currently 12.30, our appointment's at three. And I just made myself a gigantic breakfast. I think my eyes were a little bit bigger than my stomach, but we went and had breakfast at Hungry Jack's in Crosby, Texas yesterday. If you're local, check out that place. It is outstanding. But I got a breakfast scramble and their portions are huge. So I had more than enough to make myself breakfast today. What I did was mix it all together and then I put it in these low carb tortillas. I toasted it and then I have some salsa on the side to dip it in. Little Smokey is being a little pest by bothering the chickens constantly. I keep having to spray him with water and I've sprayed him with so much water at this point that he is virtually unfazed by it. My breakfast was fantastic and I've been getting work done on the computer, but I wanted to show y'all what I picked up at the Marshalls Home Goods store I went to two days ago. That store, I wish it was closer. My God, could I make some bad decisions in there. There was so much Christmas decor, food. Oh my God, it was fantastic. But I only walked out spending $70, thank God, because I don't need to be spending money for random things. But let me show you what I got. First things first, I got some Christmas holiday coffee syrup. So y'all saw the gingerbread syrup that I used in my coffee at McDonald's. I got gingerbread and this one, this is a really great syrup. I've never heard of this brand before, but I wanted to look up this Mateo's online to see if they have more syrups. I got this sugar-free sugar cookie flavored syrup. And then the last one I got is this Torani Belgian cookie sugar-free syrup. Right now, Duncan is doing this cookie butter cold brew and it sounds so good, but there's like 200 something calories in a medium. So while that might be like a fun treat, I couldn't drink that every day, but I'm gonna try and make a sugar-free version at home. I also got a couple of clothing items. My favorite brand of leggings is 90 Degree by Reflex. I think I've said this in a previous video. You can just find the best deals on these leggings at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Online, they're like 26 bucks, but they're normally like 16, 17, 18 bucks at those stores. So I just got a pair of plain black leggings in a size medium since I've lost a little bit of weight. The larges kind of slip off my hips, but I liked how this one has the kind of cross front. I just thought it was cute. So I grabbed me a pair of just, you know, everyday wear leggings. And then I got two of the same shirts. This is the brand Athleta, Athleta, I think it's Athleta. But the material on these is great and they just seem like good casual wear long sleeve tees for the winter time since we're getting to that time of the year that we have cool weather. And these were $17 as well. But they're just really nice material. And I believe Athleta is a very good brand. Yeah, the price tag on here says $69. Would I pay that for this? Absolutely not. Would I pay $17? Yes. And then this is the same exact top in like a seafoam color. Are those cool? I thought they were good winter time outfits. So that is my Marshalls haul. I got a little carried away in La La Land and all of a sudden I had like three minutes to get ready to leave for the vet. So I grabbed the kitten and I threw it in this cat carrier next to me. It panicked a little bit, so I have a blanket over the top to kind of keep it in the dark and not as scared. But let's head inside and see what the vet has to say about him or her. I think it's a her. I don't know. We are home from the vet and we got some good news and some interesting news. So first and foremost, she is a girl. Um, good news. She was feline leukemia, AIDS, the other one, I forget what else they test for, negative for all of it. 
which is wonderful news because if she was positive, that would have been a very bad, not fun predicament to be in, but she is negative for all of that. Interesting news. I thought she was 14, 16 weeks old. Vet thinks she's six to eight months. She actually has all of her adult teeth and even has some like tartar on some of her teeth. So that's why he thinks she could be closer to eight months even, which then puts us in an interesting predicament is I have one unfixed male cat who was supposed to get neutered last week, but he tore me apart instead. So he did not get neutered. But that opens up the possibility that he could have got to her before I did. Now I'm gonna try and find a low cost vet to get her spayed at as soon as possible, just in case she is pregnant. We don't want kittens, we don't want that at all. So going to try and hop on that as soon as possible, but I'd like to do a low cost vet because when I got smoky neutered, it was hundreds of dollars. And I know there's places I can get it done cheaper that are just as good. So yeah, so vet appointment went good. She's healthy, just needs some groceries, AKA needs some food. She's a little skinny, but got vaccinated and all is good. All right, y'all. So I have a very rare possum that is coming and eating at my house. It is white with black ears. Oh, and the cats are trying to come inside. No! Well, y'all, I think with that, I am going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog. But I did want to introduce you to this little lady. She is terrified, so bear with me. Especially because she is a lot older than I thought she was. It takes them a little longer to tame down. But we are getting purrs within a couple of seconds of picking her up. But she still is very terrified when I reach in to grab her. I still don't know what we're gonna do with her. I'm just glad that she is negative for all the bad stuff. We got her shots. We'll go back again in a month to get the next round of shots. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It was a lot of acquiring more animals, which is just what I need, obviously. I don't have enough. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys.